will start directly with what is robotics so robotics is basically a branch of science that focuses on learning and creating machines or robots that can do various kind of work for us humans so this is a complete uh, kind of technical definition of robotics what robot is so it is a branch of science that helps us to learn and program machines or robots that can do different kind of work for the human well let's understand it with the layman's term on the most basic way that what robots are basically what we do is we first identify a problem or we first identify a task which is monotonous which is non productive and which is taking a lot of us a lot, lot of our time and then we try to automate that process using machines or robots this machine or robot is basically that branch of science that helps us to build these machines these robots and these robots are for two things one they will resolve an issue like the issue that uh, arin mentioned in the beginning that uh, her mother needs to clean the house so that takes a lot of time and she he wants to automate that task so for that to save that uh, effort that her mother does his mother does so he wants to create a robot that can clean the surface similarly there can be robots that are doing some task which is monotonous some task which is not productive for example let's think about it let's think about like ca- counting the number of students in the class we already had a, this example before but we can use it again that if i want to take the attendance so attendance is a non productive task it's a regular task that has to be done on daily basis but it's non productive it's not going to add to any educational value to you it's not going to add to any educational value to the teacher so it's not a productive task so we can use a robot to automate that task we can use a machine that takes the attendance as soon as you enter the class as soon as you as you enter the class you maybe uh, show your id card to a robotic machine to a sensor and the sensor takes your attendance so that will save time okay then we can have robot that work on surface that work in conditions which are not safe for humans for example if we need to go out of space if we need to have someone to observe a planet like a mars rover which is already there so that mars rover the mars planet humans can't live over there for a long time because the conditions are not suitable for us we can use sp- space suits go over there explore that world but it's not safe for us to stay over there so we have sent a robot we have sent a machine over there that's a mars rover that rover is moving around that area we are communicating with that rover wirelessly and getting all the data from it. so the exploration the space exploration that is not safe for humans is done by robots so we use robots for two cases one is when we want to solve a problem second if we want to automate some process when which is not safe for you and there is one more reason when we use robots when we want to increase the output for example in a production factory where we have to produce maybe like cold drinks now in that production factory if humans will work the production rate will be very low but if we replace them by machines then machines will be able to produce fast yeah that will definitely make them lose the job but then again new jobs are created because to maintain those machines to program those machines to have that like ensure that machines are working proper we again need humans so the previous jobs are lost but new jobs are created so these are three basic reasons why and when we create machine or robots let's discuss all these robots that we see on the screen and let's take an example of each for example the first one is a stationary robot Now when we talk about robots we don't mean any machine that moves from one place to another we just mach- we just mean that something some machine which can do a task that is done by human so for example a robot that is working in a factory doesn't need to move from that location there is a conveyor belt which brings everything to the robot and the robot just need to perform an operation maybe of welding maybe of cutting a material maybe of joining some parts so such robots are called stationary robots which rotate on their axis only which are having just one arm and rotate on the axis now to understand this better i have a video for you let's have a look at this video in just a second So this is BMW fac- factory that you see. This is a complete BMW factory manufacturing unit, and this is the stationary robot. So it can rotate on an axis, and just see there are multiple arms. One arm was picking up things, 
other are just like taking uh, things from a conveyor belt and putting on so every arm knows what it has to do and all the parts are synchronized Now, can you tell me what's the need of this human over here, and what exactly this human might be doing? Is he checking to see the parts were all correct? Absolutely correct. Because I told you that machines make less mistake, but it's not that they may, don't make any mistake. There can be any mechanical failure, there can be any electronic failure due to which there is some error. The machine might be producing wrong wrong output. So, in those conditions, we need a human to monitor that. So definitely, with machines coming into the production area, the, uh, many jobs have been taken, many jobs have been removed. Like people have to be removed from the job, but new jobs have been created. These people who are monitoring that production, which are controlling the machine, uh, modifying the machines, all those people are required for that. So new jobs have been definitely created. Okay. Now let's have one more on a uh, drone. As I didn't talk about drones. So for drone, we said it can be used for. Photography. It can be used for military services. We can use drone for one more thing. Let's see what what that is. You must have used or seen Amazon deliveries. That happened normally by a delivery executive. That was a person that picks the parcel and comes and delivers it. This is a new concept that Amazon is testing right now. That is called Amazon Air, where they are going to deliver the product within an hour or two. When you order the product within an hour or two, the product will be delivered. Although the price will be a little bit higher for this kind of delivery. So the product will be packaged by the factory and it will be given to a drone and that drone using GPS will come to your location, drop the package outside and move away. So we can provide like faster deliveries using drones also. Okay, so uh, then we have soft elastic robots. These are those robots that have very like flexible movement like human fingers. Those are soft elastic robots. Then we have a legged robots. Uh, legged robot, do you remember we have seen this? Do you remember we have seen this legged robot before? Do you remember Arduino session where you have where you saw some robots? So you remember this robot, four-legged robot. Okay. So can you tell me what's the benefit of this? Because this robot looks like a spider. Basically, we don't want to take the job of a spider and use a robot to make webs. Spider is doing that very good. We don't want to do that. So why do we need to have such kind of robot that has six legs? Um, can it be used to like detect something, and then? Okay. And what and kind of detection do you think of? Like, what kind of uh, what kind of detection so you like, can imagine? Yeah. I see where something is. Try and find something. Okay. Yeah, that is possible. Something similar to what Aryan said that uh, it can be used for surveillance kind of thing. So yes, this robot can be used for that. It can be used in case of calamities, natural calamities like earthquake. It can be used during that. How? Because if we understand during earthquake, uh, there is a lot of rubble around, there is a lot of stones. So the land is not even. And many people are buried under the debris. Many people who are alive get buried under the debris and it takes time for humans to find them and rescue them. So du during that time, a person can lose the life. For that portion, if we have such kind of robots, that can move into any terrain because it has six legs, it can easily balance into any surface. Then it can move inside small spaces, look around and find for human life. So as Emma added that we could have something like it detects something, so it can detect human life around it. It can scan for human life and it, if it finds some, it can go to that point where the human is and send a signal to the other humans who are outside. So they can quickly come to that spot and rescue that person before. 
before taking any other rubble they can just come to that place so it can be used for that purpose okay then we have wheeled robots wheeled robots we might have played with or we might have seen already so these are four wheeled robots then we can have spherical robots uh, we can have micro robots very small size of robots there is one more called nano robots nano robots are the robots which are considered to be those like next step in our evolution kind of thing so these are those robots which we think might be able to resolve many problems in med- medical site that is these kind of robots can be programmed to go inside the human body and treat certain diseases cure certain diseases by going inside the blood stream okay but they will be completely safe for the human so you can see but this is just a concept right now and it's being researched so why robotics is important uh, i have explained you a lot but i want you to do one thing there are five topics you can pick any one of them and try to explain it that why do we need robots for this purpose so i use space exploration i explained this example so we are not going to have this one rest four of them if you can choose one of them and explain me why do we need robots over there for military and public safety you would need robots because when you're trying to get to an, another like if you need to go to another place where humans can't like if you want to go to the battlefront and survey the other troops soldiers you don't want to send a, another one of your troops there or many of your troops because they could be killed or taken hostage so right. you could send a robot absolutely great absolutely great so we can have robots over there we can have robots as the first line of defense so whenever there is an attack for the first line of defense we can always use robots because if we lose them we will always have monetary loss but that is uh, still manageable but uh, the human life loss is not manageable so yes that's the purpose very good what about amit amit can you choose from any other topics like rest three which are left and explain one of them that why do we need robots yeah uh healthcare because uh maybe there are like a few things that need to be done at once and there's only like uh one doctor absolutely so correct no nope. yeah Th- this is also good view that amad had uh, because we discuss about this thing that if a doctor can- can't reach but what if a doctor has reached to a place but it doesn't uh, the person doesn't have uh, help around him there are not many people available who can help in the surgery so if we have a robotic arm that can act as an assistance also it can assist the doctor during the surgery and help them because it has multiple arms Okay, so that's a good point. Then we have manufacturing. Manufacturing, we just saw a video. We discuss in detail that why we need robots over there to all the heavy lifting to uh, keep human life out of danger. Then for sea exploration, deep sea exploration, it's similar to space exploration. So when we go to big heights, it becomes dangerous for human. Similarly, when we go to uh, large depths, again it becomes. very difficult for humans so for deep sea exploration we can have robots that can go underwater and understand the uh, the surface of earth or maybe other planet if any other planet has some water system it can go inside and find out what that planet is made up of okay so this is why robotics is important <music>